Okay, so after I had the baby, y'all, it's literally not even like three days later, he's pressuring me like, okay, when we going back to Miami, I got to get back there. I got to work. I got this. I got that. And I'm like, bro, I don't know how to be a mom. Like, I just had a baby. Chill. Like, give me six months or something. Like, maybe I'll come back. At this point, like how you've acted before, baby, like, I don't really have any intentions on coming back. But if you plan on showing different, like, I'll give you a chance, you know? And I wanted to cancel my condo out there because the lady, me and her, the lady had been in communications and she was cool with it. She was actually like her, her marriage had fell through. She said her fiance was acting like an ass and she was like, yeah, I want to sell the condo. And she could sell, she could sold it for like $700,000. And she's like, I'll give you your deposit back, which was $6,000. And she was like, and yeah, you guys can move out, you know? So I was telling him that, but no, he wanted to keep it because that was the lifestyle he wanted to have. So he moved those two guys in is like oh they'll pay the rent while we're here you know like they'll pay it monthly oh they can pay because it was 2800 a month he's like but each of them can pay 1300 a month but mind you all my stuff is still there like my designer purses my designer glasses like all my clothes everything is still there i'm like i don't want no fucking weirdos in our place while we're not there like they make enough money why can't they find a place like what's going on so maybe like a week after that he tells me he has to go back down there like Kayla like you know in life we have to make tough decisions and you know right now he's the youngest that he'll ever be and he won't remember this time so I have to go and work and do what's best for me and you know future him like I'll explain to him and I'm like okay well you gonna miss out on all this stuff like I'm a mom I don't know if I'm gonna get postpartum like you're just gonna leave me here like we was literally in the bathroom talking and I'm like at telling him like I'm not okay like don't leave like I don't know what I'm doing like please don't go like we gotta figure this out together like we're both like, I'm just a new mom like I don't got this shit figured out and he just like yeah but I gotta go like it's my life and I gotta make the decision so I said okay go whatever so at that point I'm in my uh place downtown Detroit in Midtown and it was smaller like that place was 1300 a month it was one bedroom one bathroom but with a new baby it was like single Kayla place you know single Kayla place on the go like I didn't stay there often as y'all can tell through the story I've been on the go so um this is like the end of December and then my lease was up because I didn't even realize that like my lease was up in December or January 1st so this is like the end of December and I had no idea so the, like the least people calling me because I just had a baby you know like oh my god just got away from me so he goes to Miami so I'm like okay what the hell I gotta figure something out and I'm a new mom I really didn't know what to do and my mom was coming over every day anyway I said you know what mom I want to move in with you like I might as well move in you can help me like it'd be easier rather than you coming over here cooking bringing me food doing this because clearly I couldn't do it because he wanted to go back to be my Miami and be selfish and work and Guess what his working was? Nothing but sitting on the damn couch, ordering Chinese food and doing nothing. And I know that because I ended up flying out there just to visit and I just watched his whole daily routine. And he did nothing. And then at the end of the week when I told him his routine, then he started leaving. Like, oh, I got to work. Oh, I got to go here to this cafe. I got to go meet someone so-and-so. Yeah, because you don't want me to see you doing nothing all day. So, um, my, go back to the apartment stuff. So, the apartment... My lease was up, so my family, my mom, my dad, my brother, my um, mom's husband, they all helped me. They packed my place up while I was chilling out at mom's house. They packed my place up and moved my whole place out, and I moved in with her. So then he comes back like two weeks later, and he's upset that I moved and that I had moved in with my family, that when I have can move into his place, because he had another place in Detroit too. So he had his apartment in Detroit, I had my apartment in Detroit, and we both lived in Miami together. So he's like, no, don't move in there, just move into my apartment. I'm like, no, I don't want to move into your raggedy ass apartment. Like, that's not a place for me and a baby, and I don't want to be up that high. The elevator stopped working sometimes. Like, I don't want to be there. Like, if you want us to be with you, buy us a house, find something for us to be in, to you know, and you can go and work and do whatever you want. But until then, like... I just need to focus on a baby and breastfeeding because I couldn't work or do nothing for real. Like, I was tired as hell. My business was suffering. Like, I wasn't even doing anything with that. He wasn't helping me with that. So, I literally just was, like, spending money. Like, all the money I was making was literally spending money because I still had stuff going. Like, when you have an online business, you know, you still got advertisements. You still got other back-end stuff, email, marketing. Like, I'm spending $1,500 a month on Klaviyo, on emails. Like, stuff that people don't even realize. Like, when they go, oh, you have a successful business. Yes, but it takes a lot to run a successful business, like like all the packaging, like all the shipping labels costing, like monthly. My Shopify bill be $1,800 or more a month. Then I'm paying Clavio. Then I'm paying Privy because I got Clavio and Privy. So that's $500 on here, 
15 on over here and then i got all these little apps that's helping me make sales daily so it was literally like i just was being a mom not getting no help i'm paying amex because i owe them from all the money he spent from that i'm paying facebook ads because some of the facebook ads i was realizing he was messing up a lot of our facebook accounts then he hopped from one account to another account so like under my facebook my facebook got uh restricted i can't use my facebook at all as a person as nothing no advertisement because what he did was he was not following the community guidelines we got banned then he hopped and paid somebody else for their thing but it was all under not the case so i'm owing like facebook bills nine thousand dollars like once facebook trusts you they open your like spending limit so i'm getting like nine thousand dollars until i have to even pay them so he run an advertisement up to nine thousand dollars and then boom, he might take the money to do something else with saying he paying, but then he not. So when I go in the back end of Facebook, this stuff is not paid. So I'm literally connected to all this stuff. So my cards and all that stuff is charging it. So I'm paying my cars, credit cards off. And this is my fault too, because I'm not paying attention to my numbers or I didn't hire an accountant or I didn't do any of that stuff. CPA, nothing. I'm just handling it all on my own. This is the most money I've ever had made in my life, you know? So I'm just trying to do the best I can. So literally so much money coming out, y'all. Like, y'all don't even know. Like, all that money that I made is gone. Like, what's gone, okay? Like, from just not paying attention, not being aware of what was in my store when he stopped working on it. When he went to Miami, he got mad. Like, even when he was out there cussing me out, saying I'm supposed to follow him. I'm not the man. I did this and do this. And all I need to do is be there. But he was just so verbally abusive and mad and just negative all the time it's like if i gotta take all that in how can i be the best person for my baby like i can't be with you and be happy the happiest me for him and it's unfortunate because i try like a few times i flew out there and he is still bringing that negative energy and saying that stuff in front of my son i'm like i can't i don't care if he one day old he can't ever hear you talking to me or saying nothing or belittling me and saying anything about me so i'm gonna be over here with my family and like when you get your stuff together like you can come around and be with him like i never was trying to stop that but I wasn't gonna be I wasn't gonna allow you to talk to me any type of way and he didn't like that he wanted to be a weak ass bitch and I definitely was not that he just couldn't handle it so where dang where was I at so yeah he in Miami I done moved in with my mom I'm learning everything I need to learn I'm breastfeeding I'm producing a lot of milk I'm happy y'all I'm just literally I'm arguing with him literally every day because he texting me some BS or calling me or blowing my phone up. I'm this, I'm that. I'm a horrible mom. Like from the day I had a baby, I've been a horrible mom. From the second I had a baby, I was a horrible mom because he didn't know how to control his emotions and just support me as becoming a mom. Like he wants to be the mom. Like he's been a baby mama this whole time because he... I don't know like y'all he ended up telling me like his mom and dad never was together and it's crazy because when I was pregnant about to give birth this was one of the times I went to dinner with his mom like we're not close and I don't like his mom she don't like me but she took us to dinner me and my mom and stuff and she basically told me like me and Max dad we were long we were together we were married long enough to have him and we divorced and I was thinking I hope we don't be like that because my family we all communicate and we talk and that's literally how it is like we don't communicate we don't talk like he was mad this whole time it was like he wants to switch places with me. Like he, you know, like men, like I think he really do because I can't tell y'all that yet. That's the good part of the story. Okay, so listen, y'all, he just was arguing with me every day, every single day. And I told him that, like, I don't argue with nobody, but one person, you remind me of her. Like, this is some women's stuff. Like, why are you fighting with me? All I'm doing is being a great mom over here. Like, every single day, day in, day out, because I wouldn't follow him to hell. Like, you know, like, I was not about to follow him. So, you know, some time go on. I think in about January, I end up saying, you know, I'm going to come visit you with the baby. Let's see how it go. I come visit him, y'all. It was the worst thing. Like, still, just in, in person to each other, just arguing, fighting. I think I even had to call the police or the police was called in Miami. Like, the baby, I got a video of him just going off. The baby is, like, screaming, crying, y'all. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I done flew all the way out here, wasting my time. Like, and if y'all a mom, y'all know how hard it is traveling with a baby. Like, it was so hard. I was just thinking, like, all this I did just because I thought, like, I just wanted to help him be a good dad. Like, oh, he gonna do it if I'm there. Or let me, like, it's his dad, though. Let me try. You know, like, every woman want to try. Oh, 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 oh. So, no.